Hello. Um, so, hello, Lake. This is a uh, traditional piece. Um, it means God has done it, uh, or it's done by God, or yeah, I'm not sure exactly of the you know the meaning, real meaning behind it. But Allah, Lake, Allah being God. Um, uh, and yeah, so because it's one of those more traditional ones, it's that kind of very basic, not basic, very kind of continuous bass line runs through the whole thing. And you kind of add the fingers on. So the way I'm going to teach it to you is like that, the way that I was taught. So thumbs first, and then we'll build up from there. So we're going to start with the right thumb. Some of you would have got that straight away, but I'll explain it just in case. So let's start on the A. So it's A, F, C, F, A, F, C, F, A, F, C, F. So that A would be the beginning of where I'm going to show you the beginning anyway, because you know these pieces don't traditionally have a beginning and an end, but this where I would count them one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then the right side is going. So it's D C D F F D C D F F D C D F F. Okay, and that's the same time. So A and D at the same time together. Then the F here is alone, and the two C's are together. So then F again. So this F is always played alone, pretty much. Then we go back to the D and the A again. So then it's this is the only time that F is not played alone. You play this F with it at the same time, two Fs. So. C this side, F this side, F this side. Line. So I really recommend you kind of pausing the video here and practicing that until it's becoming kind of second nature. You don't have to think about it, try and get up to a bit of fast speed. I'm muting the second F there, but you don't have to do that. Just practice, try and do it fast. becomes kind of uh, yeah a bit natural and, and you don't have to think about it too much don't you know let it, let it become muscle memory basically okay so what I'm gonna do then is to slowly add in the finger part so that's the first bit because so you've got yeah so we got with A and the D together and then it goes to the C alone we're gonna put one in between a lot of the fingers are in the between again so a lot of kind of off the beat double time feeling so so we're playing up here the D so it's sorry yeah okay 
So you're going to have to bear with me on this piece because it's one of those ones that is so fast um, and it has to become muscle memory, it really does. I learned it such a long time ago and I always find it really difficult to teach because um, I don't really kind of know exactly what's going on so I really have to try and break it down slowly. So I practice and I go for it and I go, okay, I've got it clear, I'm going to show it and then I get to it and I just always hit the wrong notes and stuff. So um, you just to bear with me as I, as I find it. But Yeah, so... Then we're going to an F after that, so... The B, nat the B natural and leaving C to go open. So again, practice that loads because that needs to become second nature. So I, I recommend practicing that bit there. What's after that is F alone by itself here. So and you can actually now you've got to that point, exactly half, you can just repeat that bit. Kind of gives you the feeling of the piece already. get that muted because if you don't mute it it sounds sounds a bit weird like that and you want it okay then we're going to continue on so after that F we're going to play A up here okay so Go back to A and D here. See? Then we've got this little bit, which is really beautiful, a little tricky to get because you've got a muted. Just da -da -da. So, starting on the G here, F um, and E. That E is muted. This is muted and I'm muting it with this off and then coming back on the same side, not the back side of the nail. Um, me thinking, maybe I'm wrong there. No, sorry. It's the classic one. So you're playing and then you're muting with the back side of the nail. Okay. I recommend just practicing that, getting that one. And then what we're going to do with the last note, that muted one, we're going to add in two Fs here, F and F. Okay, and this is really tricky to get right because you're playing these two open with the thumbs and you're muting this one at the same time. When you get it, it sounds beautiful. Just practicing that on its own for as long as you can bear. Like that, so that's how you got so far. So those two together, and then this F alone on the right side. So, 
So you're after that bit. So you get your Okay. Then we go back to the beginning, which is the A and the D. Basically it. So in theory it's quite simple, but technically to get it sounding right is really difficult. Um, and I recommend just kind of doing it really slowly and really focusing on those muted bits. You know, then we start playing around with it. It's a really beautiful piece, but it's really difficult. There's a lot going on, and I think the reason why it's so difficult is because there's no space so there's no moment of pause to sit and think so it's really you know there's no kind of moment of like you know breather to kind of gather your thoughts and and um, take a break so it's quite intense um so i really recommend just kind of not overloading yourself and just trying to you know practice it as much as possible and you know, kind of really meditate with it and it's the piece that I use to kind of warm up my fingers. Because it's so much, when you play it faster, there's so much going on. It really kind of warms up those muscles nicely. Um, okay, I think that's it for this video. I'll make another video on all the variations. There's loads and I'm still, you know, learning some as well. And, and I want to delve back into it actually because I learned it when I was much younger. And um, there's loads to it. It's a lovely old traditional one, so I'll get lots of new material. But um, for now, that will do. I recommend practicing that before you get to the next video. And then, um, yeah, I'll show you some small variations of the Kamengo and, and things like that soon. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.